no matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. Now, see that look in Mr. Pitt's eye, like 19th century literature, has nothing to do with going to business school or medical school, right? Maybe. Mr. Hopkins, you may agree with them, thinking, yes, we should simply study our Mr. Pritchard and learn our rhyme and meter and go quietly about the business of achieving other ambitions. I have a little secret for you. Huddle up. Huddle up! We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race. And the human race is filled with passion. And medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits and necessary to sustain life. But poetry, beauty, romance, love, these are what we stay alive for. To quote from Whitman, O oh, me, O oh, life, of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish, what good amid these, O oh, me, O oh, life? Answer, that you are here, that life exists and identity, that the powerful play goes on and you may contribute a verse. The powerful play goes on, and you may contribute a verse. What will your verse be? <laughs>